Hello again, this is KD. I had a couple of uh, other than Bud Light beers and it's time for my second video. Would you be surprised to learn that uh, taser technology first mentioned in the 1960s was already available to use as early as 1851? I was. Taser is a conducted energy device primarily used to incapacitate people. The way it works, a taser device fires two small darts which stay connected to the main unit by a thin insulated copper wire. Once fired, the probes travel at 180 feet per second and must land at least 4 inches apart from each other to complete the circuit and channel the electric pulse into the target person's body. The uh, taser delivers 19 short pulses per second over 5 seconds with an average current of uh, 2 to 4 milliamps. It creates an electric field which stimulates nerve cells to send an electrical impulse. The uh, impulse travels to muscles and causes neuromuscular incapacitation, temporarily paralyzing the muscles. A uh, taser works by operating at a high voltage and low amperage capacity. Operating in this capacity ensures that the target receives a shock that essentially stuns the target, but leaves no lasting or permanent damage to the victim. Please uh, make a mental note of these 19 short pulses per second, high voltage and uh, low amperage required to temporarily incapacitate a person. Here is uh, some uh, taser history from the conventional wisdom sources. A uh, US patent by Kunio Shimizu titled Arrest Device filed in 1966, describes an electrical discharge gun with a projectile connected to a wire with a pair of electrode needles for skin attachment. The patent does exist and was granted in 1970. It is described as electrical discharge weapons for stunning for remote electrical discharge by means of a wireless projectile. So I'm not sure where the uh, wired portion for the Wikipedia article comes from. The uh, main part of the Taser story starts in 1969, when Jack Cover, a NASA researcher, began developing the first Taser. Of course, in the 20th century, unlike in the 19th, it required some uh, relevant and serious education to develop things. And our Jack Cover was indeed pretty educated. He earned a bachelor's degree and a doctorate in nuclear physics at the University of Chicago. So we have a PhD of nuclear physics guy here. In uh, the year 1970, Jack Cover formed Taser Systems Incorporated, named for a Tom Swift novel about the uh, Tom A. Swift's electric rifle. This is probably where our connection to the 19th century could be found. By uh, 1974, Cover had uh, completed the device. The first Taser model that was offered for sale was called the uh, Taser Public Defender. It used gunpowder as its propellant, which led the uh, Bureau of uh, Alcohol, Tobacco and uh, Firearms to classify it as a firearm in 1976. The remainder of the Taser history is irrelevant for the matter at hand. For us, only three things are important from what I just shared. Number one, the first working model was available in 1974. Number two, Taser delivers 19 short pulses per second of high voltage, low amperage. And number three, the method of delivery were two darts penetrate a body. Due to my employment, I'm pretty familiar with the taser device. I uh, even had the pleasure of uh, experiencing its effects on the human body back in 2007. Now, you can imagine my bewilderment when I stumbled into the following article, dated with 1852. The article appeared in a book titled Strange Stories of the Animal World. While the book was published in 1866, the article itself was dated with uh, 1852. It uh, has been proposed 
in the United States fishery to facilitate by electricity the capture of the whale. One or two boats are to be lowered. The electricity is conveyed to the body of the whale from an electro-galvanic battery contained in the boat by means of a metallic wire attached to the harpoon and so arranged as to reconduct the electric current from the whale through the sea to the machine. This machine is enclosed in a chest and uh, is capable of throwing into the body of the whale eight tremendous strokes of electricity in a second or 480 strokes in a minute, paralyzing in an instant the muscles of the whale and depriving it of all power of motion, if not actually of life. You can uh, imagine how surprised I was when I realized that uh, what this 1852 article was talking about was a uh, mid-19th century taser technology. Whale's muscles are being paralyzed by 8 short pulses per second via electricity delivered by the means of an oversized dart attached to a metallic wire and uh, connected to an electric device. The uh, only thing that did not make sense to me was a single harpoon used for uh, you need two separate penetrations to complete the circuit. So I uh, kept on searching. My uh, search produced the following article published in the 1853 Annual of Scientific Discovery. The article did not provide any information on two harpoons used but did elaborate on the article I've just read, and here is what it says. The uh, New Bedford Mercury describes a process invented at uh, Bremen and brought forward at New Bedford for killing whales at the moment of striking them with the harpoon by means of electricity. The object of the expedient is to produce an immediate paralysis of the vital powers of the whale at the moment at which he is struck so as to obviate the danger, the labor and the hazard of loss from the struggles of the whale after he is struck. The process is uh, thus described by the mercury. Oh, and uh, as a side note, I don't uh, think the author of this entire article fully understood the uh, principles of the uh, operation of this machine. But uh, anyways, there it goes. The uh, electricity is conveyed to the body of the whale from an electro-galvanic battery contained in the harpoon and so arranged as to reconduct the electric current from the whale through the sea to the machine. The machine itself is simple and compact in construction, enclosed in a strong chest weighing about 350 pounds and occupying a space in the boat of about three and a half feet long by two feet in width and the same in height. It is capable of throwing into the body of the whale eight tremendous strokes of electricity in a second or 950 strokes in a minute paralyzing in an instant the muscles of the whale and depriving it of all power of motion, if not of actual life. This invention has been partially tried by the captain of a Dutch whale ship, which left for the Pacific in July 1851. This vessel was provided with three rotation machines of various sizes in order to ascertain the degree of power necessary to secure sperm or right whales. One machine containing one magnet, another four, and another 14 magnets. The uh, captain, in a letter dated New Zealand, December 1851, writes as follows. The uh, first experiment we made with the new invention was uh, upon a uh, shark, applying the electricity from the machine with one magnet. The fish, after being struck, instantly turned over on its side and after we had poured in upon him a stream of electricity for a few moments by turning the handle of the machine, the shark became stiff as a piece of wood. We next fell in with a black fish. 
As uh, soon as the uh, whale iron was thrown into him and the machine handle turned, the fish began to sink. The uh, operator then uh, ceased turning the machine and the fish immediately rose. When the machine was again set in motion, upon which the fish lay stiff on the surface of the water and uh, was taken alongside of the ship. At this time we made use of the four magnet machine. We saw sperm and other whales and lowered our boats, but were unsuccessful in getting fast to them, as they uh, disappeared in our approaching them. While at all other times the weather was too boisterous to permit us to lower our boats. Thus, we had uh, but uh, one chance to try the experiment upon a whale, which was made with uh, the four magnet machine. The whale, upon being struck, made one dash onward, then turned on his side and was rendered perfectly powerless. Although I have as yet not been uh, fortunate enough to test the invention in more instances, I have the fullest confidence in the same and doubt not to be able to report the most astonishing results on my return from the Arctic seas, where I am now bound. I am not sure what kind of mathematics they used to obtain 950 strokes per minute out of 8 strokes per second, yet uh, this article clearly indicates that the machine was operational as early as 1851, but the vital information on the second harpoon to complete the circuit is still absent. I kept on searching and eventually I found what I was looking for. The uh, missing information was published in the 1849 issue of the Scientific American magazine. The article is titled A Galvanic or Electric Harpoon for Paralyzing Whales. Two common harpoons indicated by layer A were to be connected to a battery indicated by layer B by chains indicated by a letter C. Said chains may be bound in a cord, and said cords and the harpoons, excepting the actual points of contact with the body, indicated by a letter D, were to be insulated in any non-conducting flexible substance. Both harpoons were to be launched simultaneously to produce the desired effect. Naturally, the invention dated with uh, 1849 had the following. Number one, two darts with attached wires. Number two, wires were attached to a device to complete the circuit. Number three, the device was delivering multiple short pulses of electricity. And uh, number four, the result produced a uh, temporarily paralyzed whale. I uh, do not see how it could be anything but the uh, mid 19th century taser technology officially invented in the uh, late 1960s. For killing a fish with electricity, one doesn't need two harpoons and uh, short multiple pulses of electricity to produce the desired effect. What desired effect are they talking about? In uh, my opinion, this desired effect is the temporary neuromuscular incapacitation, which can only be achieved via high voltage, low amperage pulses, which in itself makes it a taser technology. If you have any other opinions, please share. If uh, what we have here is indeed a uh, technology we know today as a taser, then uh, what level of education and knowledge did they possess prior to 1850s? wanted to remind you that the uh, gentleman who developed the taser in 1960s and 1970s had a nuclear physics PhD. Anyways, that's uh, it for today. I will link the uh, Stolen History article with uh, all sources I used for this video. Take care.